guys, welcome back to the channel and to a very special video. This is our housewarming vlog. Cannot believe it is finally time for the big party, which is happening next weekend. We have friends and family coming. Some have actually seen the house already, but most have not. So it is a pretty big deal. By the way, drop a comment down below if any of you guys recently moved or if you are moving or if you have any questions about housewarmings. This is only the second one I've ever thrown, but of course, I do work in marketing and event planning for a living, so this kind of stuff comes natural to me. I love organizing and planning events. Um, but anyway, I have a lot of last minute things to do in the next eight or nine days. Believe it or not, we still have orders coming in, stuff that was back ordered that's finally coming in now. So I'll do some unboxings with you guys, do some shopping with you guys, show you how I style it in our home. Um, and then just kind of like fill you in on, you know, last minute event details and of course vlog the big day. So one place that I like to go to for good finds at an affordable price is Home Goods. I've actually been there like three times in the last couple of weeks. So let me show y'all a couple of things that I found from there. So this is actually one art piece. Sorry, my ring light is in the way. Um, <laughs> this is actually going to be going up here. This is the office. Um, and I plan on putting this piece right up there. I really like the two-tone black and gold and the sort of like textured look to it. It's a good size, not too big, not too small. Um, pretty much exactly what I was needing for this space right here. So once I actually put it up, I will show y'all, you know, the finished styled look. Okay, I also found this Italian marble tray. Well, actually it's more of like a box, it's not a tray. Um, but it does open up and it's so funny because I came in here the day after I got it and my son had actually put little rocks in here. He said that it was perfect to hold all of his gems. So <laughs> usually Home Goods has maybe one of these and you have to get lucky and find it, but the quality is so good, you guys. I also found this little acrylic decor piece here, which I thought just looked really um, sleek and modern. By the way, not even sure if I've showed you guys the office view, but it is so beautiful. Well, I guess actually if you saw the um, empty house tour, you saw this, but this is how it looks now that we have pieces styled in here. So I do work from home. So basically I'm here working on my computer with this view here or this one, you know, looking out to the front and backyard, which is just so peaceful and relaxing. And I guess while I'm in here, I might as well show y'all um, I did purchase this chair and this desk from Wayfair. I actually have another desk that I've ordered, um, but it's back ordered and will not be here till July. It's from CB2. So I got this one for now in place. And I do like this chair though. I think I will keep the chair. I did buy them separately. Also, I'm not fully done styling this either. I have to style the bottom two um, shelves here. But this is so beautiful. This is actually also from Wayfair. Um, it's a, I believe a, a Wade Logan piece. I will need to double check that, but it is so gorgeous, you guys. Like it was kind of more on the expensive side. So I am glad that it is kind of like one of those moments for me. But when um, John put it up for me and I came in for the reveal, I was just so happy with it. It is on the taller side. And it fits perfectly. Like, as you guys can see, it fits perfectly in this space right here. So this is exactly what I was envisioning. Um, but again, I have to finish styling the bottom. But overall, I highly recommend this piece. Okay, so there's still more things to show y'all from Home Goods, but I'll show y'all a little bit later. Wanted to do some unboxings with you guys. Um, I ordered these LED motion sensor lights for the master closet. So excited. I actually have some of them up already, but I needed more. So these can be purchased on Amazon. They are remote controlled um, and you can leave them on for like up to three hours before having to turn them back on. So really good find, um, especially like if your closet is already set and you don't want to get like professional wiring put in, um, which would just not be feasible in our house. So um, I got a lot of table books. So I haven't even opened these yet, but I have, I love book stacks, you guys. They're just so nice for decorating your house, little corners here and there. So um, some of these are really heavy duty. This one is actually gonna go in the office. 
So I need to go put this up. Um, I need to open them up and then style them. Okay, so as I'm filming, we have another package coming in. Not sure what it is. I will go get it in a second, but thank God for Amazon Prime. Am I right, you guys, or am I right? Thank you. <laughs> I also got some of these um, multi-purpose cable clips because I have a lot of like wires that I need to sort of hide. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is something I ordered for the master closet. I will show y'all later how handy these little hooks come in. And there is more. There's like four more boxes of the lights. So okay, so this is the Chanel number no. five book. It is really heavy. Quality seems amazing. Again, really good packaging. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this in the office as well. We shall see. Yay, my Z Gallery piece is here. Okay, this one was something that was not actually backordered, but the other item I had with it was backordered. So the whole thing was backordered. Canceled the other piece, and it looks like it's here now. So this is gonna go in the bathroom, um, and then I'll have to see what these are. And it looks like John is home, and the party begins. Not the real party, just the party here at the house with the kids. <laughs> Okay, so quick break from all of the unboxings to come outside and play with the kids. What is it? Hi, doctor. A hang glider? Hi, doctor. That's not a hang glider, that's an airplane. Hi, doctor. Hi, doctor. No. <laughs> Actually, that's just an airplane, but yesterday we saw a hang glider, right? We don't know if that's what they're called. Show me. What is it? Oh, we can't touch those, right? And John got some seeds for Easter, right, baby? This right here. Well, if you touch it like that, then you'll get Giving a flower to your sister, so sweet. <laughs> Did brother give you a flower? Let me see. <gasps> what kind of flower is that? Spent the next couple of days doing some more unboxings, placing art pieces on the wall like this one in the hallway and this C gallery piece in the guest bathroom. Also did some organizing in the pantry. Here's a quick before and after. Highly recommend placing your larger items towards the top and then getting some kind of matching bins throughout your pantry in the style of your choice. I also purchased two sets of glassware for toasting for our guest and a new set for John and I as well. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday. It is officially four days away from the housewarming. And I just wanted to give y'all an update um, as to how the party planning is going. I know I've been showing you guys some inspo around the house, just like last minute things coming in. Um, but as as far as the party, everything is, for the most part, moving right along. Um, I think the only hiccup is I wanted a balloon arch in the backyard to kind of serve as like a photo op opportunity. And I wanted to put like a sign on there that said dream home. Um, but the company that I found on Instagram that I really wanted to work with is amazing, but like twice as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I really need to kind of get some competitive pricing. I just have not done it yet. And I feel like if I don't do that tonight into tomorrow, it's 
it's probably not going to happen. We are getting the uh, food catered by a place called Lupe's Tortillas. It's so good. Um, and, you know, this is something to think about because my husband, John, as you guys know, he's an amazing chef, but I wanted him to be able to host um, along with me and not just be so busy, like in the kitchen and focusing on the food. So that is why we decided to get it catered. Um, something else is drinks. I saw online while doing research, like some people get like coffee bars. I think they're like mobile little like trucks, I guess, or like a food truck, but a coffee bar is what they call it. Some people do like wine tasting. We decided to do a margarita truck. Um, we have a restaurant here in town called La Gloria and they have a margarita truck. So we have them coming. I'm so excited. Um, at first they were going to be like booked up, but I was able to sort of not push, but just like politely, you know, like, Hey, <laughs> we're a bit flexible. Like I really want you guys to come out that kind of thing. So in the end, they are coming for three hours. So we'll have delicious margaritas for the um, party. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, party, drinks, dessert. So we decided to get a cake um, made. And I had this really cute idea where I wanted I wanted to do like some kind of um, like a cake that looked like our house. So I did some Googling. I'll show you all the inspo. And I came across this one. I think it's so cute. And I found a cake shop to do it. They're going to customize it a bit. And I gave them photos of our front entrance. So it's going to look a little bit more like um, our home. But how cute is this cake? And then when it comes to party favors, don't forget the party favors. This is, of course, a nice little token um, of gratitude for your friends and family coming to spend this time with you for the housewarming. So um, I usually turn to Etsy for things like this. We ordered these small little scented candles that came packaged with a little ribbon and then you could customize it. So ours has our name and then 2023 housewarming. And then as far as the guest book, you know, this is also really important because you want to have a keepsake of the event, not just photos, but maybe, you know, something um, where people can actually write a message to you and you know that you can read for years and years to come so instead of a traditional guest book i found this blog post online and i'll link a picture so you guys can see but basically um it's kind of like okay so i bought a black serving tray on amazon and i also bought some colored sharpies in like metallic colors the plan is to have our guest sign a little message and sign this tray and then after the fact we will do I don't know what it's called, but it's something like epoxy, um, like recent or recent. And basically it's like a, a clear coat over the writing to kind of like protect it and then preserve it and you can keep it for years to come. Okay. And then the last thing is just sort of thinking about run of show of the event. So at some point, you know, we will gather everybody, we will cut the cake and do a toast to really like, you know, celebrate the moment, capture the moment, that kind of thing. Those are all my tips. Um, that is where we are right now with the party planning. Okay, so it is Tuesday and today John is installing the under cabinet lighting in the closet. Um, we put some up already maybe like a week ago, but then we decided to get more so we could do like every shelf in the closet. So you can totally apply them yourselves. These are off Amazon. I will link them below just because we did a lot of research. Um, and that's one of the big tips with these if you want to do them because we also have these in our kitchen. The ones in our kitchen are different. They're a different size, just different like settings and functions. Um, but like you can see the size of these are six inches, I think. Um, they come with the little 3M sticky tape or back um, where it sticks on. And also pay attention when you're ordering these as to like the settings you want. So some of them are motion censored or they have options to stay on for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. These will stay on for, I think, three hours um, and they're remote controlled. They're magnetic. So you could, when you need to recharge them and they're rechargeable, you just take them off and then put them back on later. Okay. So John was saying they're magnetic. Isn't that the 3M or is that different? Well, the 3M holds the little metal part there. So you're able to, because it connects with a magnet, able to just put it back on when, when you're ready to take it, take it on and take it off. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So you do charge them though. Um, you take them off. Yeah. They're rechargeable. So like I said, there's different kinds online. We did so much research and actually the first set that I bought was wrong. They were a lot cheaper than these, but 
They were remote controlled, but they were not the best quality, even though they had a lot of reviews. So um, we made some changes and got a new set. And I think total, I can't remember how many we actually ordered, but it was something like, do you remember? 30? 40? I think I had to order 40. I'll probably count them just so I can show y'all. But yeah, so excited to add this feature to the closet. Again, something you can totally do yourself. Um, we have California style cabinets, closet cabinets in our home. Um, but if you have cabinets like us and you don't, you can't get them, you know, professionally wired because I don't know about you guys, but I don't really want anybody like drilling in our shelves. Um, I think this is a really good option unless you're starting off with a whole closet from scratch and then maybe you can have them wired from the very start. Um, but that was not the case for us. So we're just going to add them in ourselves. Okay, so it is time for the big reveal. I have my little remote here. It has an on and an off button. And I'm just gonna go around like this, make sure they all turn on. And then I'll show y'all a proper reveal. By the way guys, my closet is not clean yet. Um, I still need to go through it, fix the hangers, do some organizing, but I am really happy with the overall result of the lights. I think they came out so good. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. So I am dressed for the party. This is my OOTD. This dress is new from Amazon. It's a really pretty like pinky peach kind of color for spring wearing a size L. For the most part, it's true to size. It's a little bit big um, around the waist, but otherwise I do like it. And then I've got my little sporcy crystal earrings on and then my new Valentino sandal slides, which I absolutely love. And it looks like the bouncy house people are here, so we're right on time with the schedule. And they're placing it in the back. Everybody has just about left. Um, this is the aftermath of the party. <laughs> the kids, I'm so glad we got the bouncy house. The kids had so much fun, you guys, in the bouncy house. Highly recommend. And how pretty is this? By the way, the company's from local San Antonio, but they put the balloons um, just like as an added touch. But yeah, we still have a few people here, but um, 
This is the aftermath of the party, so <laughs> clean up begins. So it is the next day. We had such a great housewarming party yesterday. It was a big success, great turnout, no issues. If I have any friends or family watching who came to the housewarming, thank you so much for being a part of our special day. And I hope that you guys enjoyed, you know, seeing the process and um, all of the home updates along the way. Really happy to always share the inspiration with you guys. Um, I do plan on doing some more home updates, so look out for that in some future vlogs. And I know a lot of you come here for um, Texas Travel Inspo. We do have our annual North Padre Island Beach trip coming up in a couple of weeks, so I will be putting out a travel vlog for that as well. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one.